Hey tubers, got a little head cold thing going on here, so forgive me for that. But uh, I wanted to show you one of the ways I fight uh, um, aphids and other little pests in the greenhouse. I think you've seen them before. I've shown them to you as I've been doing things out here. But uh, I use ladybugs and uh, lacewing uh, flies to help me fight the pests I don't want. And I got some in today, and I'm going to show you what I do with them. They come U.S. mail, and I usually get them uh, off of Amazon, but a lot of times uh, they'll come from companies like Arbico, but I get the best deal on the, the ladybugs. I don't think I've had a bad batch yet from anywhere, but uh, you can get them pretty cheap. They come like this. Or they come in a little tub. You'll get them sometimes in a, a tub, but you can see the little guys in there. They're all crawling around. And I'm going to cut these things loose in here and let them just have at it. There's two of them. And the green lace wings come in these little pouches. And that's the only way I've seen these things come. They come in little pouches. These are eggs. Uh, they'll hatch out of here. And our little mummies, I think they are. They'll hatch out of there. And uh, they'll start flying around in here and help me out too. One thing I forgot, I'm gonna spray the plants down, kind of get them wet a little bit over there. They do uh, want to get a drink of water when you first release them, so it's a good idea to give them something. I got a lot of water in here, but if you put it right on the plants, they'll go to those plants and start drinking the water, and they'll uh, acclimate themselves with this uh, this building. Now, it won't take much uh, water. I've just barely got them wet. Uh, don't typically like to do that with the plants in here, but uh, they get wet anyway because this place rains on them. But uh, these guys will go find some homes over there, so they'll start looking around for some water. They'll drink it on the plant, and then they'll kind of hang out, and then they'll start looking for bugs. I don't really have a bad aphid problem in here. Uh, I do have some, not much but these guys keep them under control. Now you kind of just make sure that you don't get them any bugs in the process you don't want to hurt them but this is what these little guys look like that's the kind of ladybug you like that one right there that's the kind there's a there's a bunch of different varieties or uh, species i guess of uh, ladybugs this is the one you want
and I'm gonna set these over here. Sorry, wet these down. And I'll just set it like this. And let them work themselves out as they go. Okay, there are approximately 1,500 of those little jewels in each one of those pouches. So that'll be about 3,000 I'm turning loose in here. Now the lace wings, the green lace wings, they'll go in little pouches, and I'll show you how I do that in just a second. These are the green lace wing. You can see some of the eggs up at the top here, I think. Anyway, they're mixed in these rice holes. I'm gonna put them in these little bags and we're gonna hang them in different spots around this greenhouse. And that's what that looks like. Uh, there's approximately somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,500 of these eggs in here. So um, I don't know what we actually get. We're gonna lose a lot of these um, ladybugs and these guys, they'll get sucked right out of this fan over here, or these exhaust fans when they kick on. Uh, so I have to do this periodically. I do it every, some people do it once a week, once a month, I, I do it about when I don't start seeing enough of them flying around in here. So I just kind of look around and if they're not flying around, I get worried and I start buying them. Might, might not be the best way to do it, but that's how I do it. All right, here's one of those little hooks. I don't know if you can see that. I just kind of hook it in here. I crimp it back because these fans kick on it'll start blowing them around another one right here on my tomato wires all right you got to see this yeah all the way at the top they're walking across i don't know if you can see that up there or not they're walking across the uh, the wires. They're already searching. Incredible little animals. They really are.
All right, I showed you earlier the release of the bugs, the good bugs, to take care of my bad bugs in here, but I wanted to show you something else. I know you saw a little bit of my new tomato system. I was doing a video on that. I was gonna do a whole video on it, but I'm gonna just kind of condense it onto this and show you what I'm doing with my video, or with my uh, tomatoes now. And I'm hoping to incorporate that into about eh, 2,500 square foot of greenhouse out here. Just completely use this system instead of what I used last year. But before I do that, I want to show you a really handy tool. Um, I found that this thing works in a lot of different ways. It works for the aquaponic system. It works for the hydroponic system. It works for feeding my dogs. This is a horse trough reservoir filler. And what you do, it's got a little spot here where you can put a hose and have that hose in there. And when this thing is down, it's gonna fill just like a toilet plunger thing. And when it's up, it'll stop. So it gets to a certain level about right here and then stops, the water will stop. So I've incorporated that into various things throughout the years in my greenhouses. And I know you've seen them. I, I use it back there on that water wall. I've used it in my aquaponic system and now I'm using it in my tomato hydroponic system and I'm going to show you what I'm doing there and then I'll give you a look at my tomato system. Alright, you do not have to have a big reservoir to do a lot of things. I've got three 30-foot systems running into one less than 20 gallon or right about a 20 gallon tote that's I've buried in the ground. I've got three pumps one feeding that one, one feeding that one, and one feeding this one over here. They're little bitty $20 pumps that I get from Petco feeding each of these systems. That's the newest tomato system. This one's pretty well established. But before I get to that, I want to show you what I've got here. I've got one of those horse troughs right here. And I've got screwed in with a, a fitting that fits like a hose and some PVC and it goes all the way back up into here and into this 55 gallon drum. Now this drum is full of my nutrient solution. It's at the right pH and it's at the right EC and it's going to constantly keep this thing full. When you have to go for a couple days and you don't have anyone to watch the greenhouse that's a good thing to do. I always have somebody to look after my greenhouse, by the way. But you don't have to trust them to do anything more than just check on it. Because that's going to keep it full. But here's my tomato system. What I've done is I've taken a couple two by fours and built um, a track. I'm sorry. What I've done is I've taken a couple of two by fours and built a track to put my gutters in. Now this one's easy to see. That one's laying down inside there. These are some cucumbers that I got going. I'm getting ready to do this one a little different. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I took these gutters, put them down in there, and then took gutters and put them on top and drilled holes in them all the way down. That's gonna be too costly to do out there. So I'm gonna do the something a little different. But anyway, um, what I've got on this one is I've got that pump stringing it in. I've tried it a couple different ways. And I've got it feeding. Okay, y'all. Darlene here. You probably can't hear me. I'm trying to talk quiet because we're fixing to go in and see Chuck. But I'm hoping to maybe scare him a little bit. Or a lot. Anyway, here we go. We'll see. Sneak in. Dang it, don't look too bad. I look like he's videoing. So he's probably telling y'all about something. Probably. But he's he's all in the mode now because he's all squatted down. You know, he's really probably telling y'all something really, really important. 
He's like, damn, we're in all the action. Let's see. I may not know I'm here. I don't know. <laughs> you think I scared him? <laughs> I thought he saw me. <laughs> So I did scare him a little bit, just not as much as I wanted to. Bye, You just scared me. She's videoing me. I've got it feeding this system periodically all the way down. Now, you can see all my ladybugs everywhere. They're doing their thing. But it runs the length of this thing. I tried it that way. I don't really like it that way. So I started doing it this way. I just ran it all the way down. I did have some feed lines going to it, but I just opened it up and let it run out the end, and it's feeding the whole thing, and the gravity's taking it all the way down and closing this loop. This is a closed loop system. All these feed lines really aren't doing anything because it's gonna take the path of least resistance. It's gonna come out down there. Now down here, say hi, darling. She's been out with the grandbaby. He went to school. He had a school thing today. Yeah, one of them. We had a part. We had a date. Landon and I had a date. Yeah. So anyway, with this one, I, and they had a great time. It looked like he had a blast. I saw all four of our grandbabies today. Did you? Yeah. Four of the six. Four of the six. Four of the six. Yeah. So what I've done with this one, and this is the way I'm going to do it out there, I think, is I've run the uh, feed line all the way down inside. The gutter. I got these guys just sitting in there on top of it. They're now it's gonna. Out saying, hey. Yeah, it's gonna be a rooted mess when I take it apart. I think, but we're gonna see how that goes. And um, excuse me, I know that was not fun for you. But this is how this is gonna sit. This is that blue insulated board, and I'm gonna cut these little holes about a foot and a half apart, all the way down. I'm gonna cover it. And that's the way it's going to look in my new greenhouses. There's a glimpse. Darlene? Yep. Yeah. Huh? Tell them goodbye. Bye. Y'all go play in the dirt, and we'll see you next time. It's probably too cold for people playing the dirt right now. Nah. Nah? It's never Maybe too not. cold to play nah. in the dirt. Nah. You can play in frozen dirt. Be really cold. Yeah. Y'all Gotta do what fun. you gotta do. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You can see these are really growing, and that one's about five foot tall. But middle, almost the end. This is what day is it? The twentieth? Yeah, nineteenth. The nineteenth of December. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes starting all the way down through there. We're gonna have tomatoes in a couple weeks. So I'll show you that too. And that. <laughs> right, when I told you, uh, I don't do a whole lot of, uh, I, I don't replace my bugs. I'm sorry. I don't replace my bugs until I start seeing a lot of critters that uh, I don't want on my plants. Now you see, they're still out here working. This is the next morning. They're still out here working. But uh, they've scattered themselves out a lot. They're not just all over the places where I put them out but uh, these little sticky cards are really just for me to know what's going on you see there a little more on this one than there was on the last one that's why I put most of the concentration of my bu my bugs down here and you see this one's got a bunch of them on there now this is where they their majority of my ladybugs are working they'll make their way to where i have the most uh infestation of aphids or any other little critters that they might want to munch on and uh, they're still working over here you see them on the strings thought i'd give you a little quick update and a little better explanation of that anyway my friends in the UK, cheers. Everybody else, God bless. We'll see you next time.
Not many folks get to do this. Trim up their tomato plants in the middle of December. Y'all remember that? Trimming up your green tomatoes, your green tomato plants rather, in summertime. This is awesome. This is cheating winter. God bless.